Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday. Welcome to MPP Blogs. Hey, everyone. Welcome to MPP Blogs. Thanks for coming in. I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. You're the reason I can do these videos. Please hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button. you get a notification anytime I put up a new video. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of it. All right, Sunday morning. Just got up. Time for me to get ready and get my day going. Uh, daily chores and we'll go throughout my day. So I'll be back with you guys shortly. All right, everyone, out of the shower now. Nice, clean shave. Still using the Harry's razor. I am still on the first blade. Uh, they last really long. They do a really nice job. It's been about three weeks now that I've been using the same razor. I've never had that. I have a really thick beard, so it, it, usually I tear apart razors. So Harry's razors are doing really good. So what I'm going to do right now is i got to get my daily chores done. i got laundry to do. i got some cleaning to do. And I'm going to go over some things. There may be some changes with this channel. We'll see. See how it works. Uh, I am starting another channel uh, that's going to more focus on what the changes are going to be. So I'll get into it in a little bit, but let's get this laundry done. Like I said, there's going to be some changes on this channel. Uh, I have had the worst case of writer's block, I guess is the best way that you can say it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up the channel a little bit. I don't know whether my writer's block is a case of I'm getting comfortable with the content that I've been doing or, or it's just, you know, writer's block. So. I am doing some changes. I do have a new channel that I am going to be putting out. Uh, it's called Black Hut Design. And it's kind of basically what the change is. Uh, let me give you a little bit of backstory. It kind of will explain this a little bit better. Uh, the house that I'm in right now, we've lived here for, I believe it's 17 years now we've been here. Um, before we moved up here, when my daughters were younger, we lived in the city of Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Uh, we bought a house, uh, and at the time we bought the house because we had to buy the house. Uh, my wife's job required her to live in the city. So I grew up in Pawtucket. I didn't want to live in Pawtucket, but we had to for my wife's job. So we bought, we had a nice little cape in the corner of the city. We were actually right on the state line of Massachusetts, and it was a beautiful little neighborhood. The cape was wonderful. And it was really nice because the person that owned the house before us was a carpenter. And this house had some beautiful features and it custom features. It was wonderful. I mean, to be totally honest, if I could have picked up that house and put it on the lot that I have right now, I would be in heaven. I loved that house. Uh, but the neighborhood was getting bad and crime was increasing in the city. So we decided before my, my daughters were school age, to get out and to go to a better area of the state and that's where we lived. The thing that I loved about this house, like I said, it had so many features, but one of the features that it had was it had, the basement was half finished, half unfinished. 
So I actually had a wood shop in my basement that I could work on. And I was, I never, I never even took shop in high school. Uh, power tools weren't something that I used when, when I was a kid. I wasn't encouraged to use them. Uh, I was more on the computer end, such the reason, like today, I'm, I'm a web designer and I do IT. But I always loved the woodworking and with that house I had the room to do the woodworking and I was actually starting to get pretty good at it. Um, I, was create, I created some custom features in the house that really worked nice. Well, when we moved out of that house, this house here is a raised ranch. No garage and the basement is completely finished. So I didn't have anywhere that I could really do woodworking. Um, so I kind of got away from it. Well, we'll fast forward ahead 17 years now and my daughters are leaving the house. They're, they're starting to go off to college and pretty soon they're gonna have their own lives, which I understand, I, I, I'm, I'm fine with it. My wife, eh, but it's part of life. They, they have to live their own lives now. Well, what's happening is there's certain areas of the house right now that we're not using. Um, in our basement, I'll, I'll show you. We Let have... me give you a quick tour of what I've got to do. A lot of work, uh, pot in the shadows and stuff. Lighting down here is not the greatest and that's one of the things that I am gonna to wanna to update. So basically, this is a basement of a raised ranch. Currently, my office is over here. It's all my computer stuff. We have the house fridge over here, okay? And I have a workbench over here, pot in the mess. I'm pulling all the tools that I had out to see if they're any good. That's a pigsty up there that I've got to go through. Um, over on this side here, we have the finished basement. Uh, we have a treadmill and the TV. This TV is 15 years old. And it works just as good as the day that we got it. So I still use it. Uh, but like I said, this area over here is really not being utilized. So what my plans are is carpet's going to come out here. All out. I'm going to put either some tile down or, you know, hard flooring that can't be, you know, damaged. Because I'll be doing some work. I am going to build a wall from right here, all the way over to there to keep all the dust on this side. That's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> That's my challenge there. The other thing that I'm going to do is that shelf, I gotta put over here, because that's where I store nails, small tools and such. Uh, the workbench will come over here, probably right along that wall right there. Um, and then the TV, which I've mounted on the wall on the shelves, will go where the cabinet is. <sighs> no room to move around down here either. So, and actually the other thing, I'm probably going to blind you here, that light is going. Because as you can see, when I walk over here, I hit my head on it. I have hit my head on it from the day that we moved into this house and I've been saying that I was going to take it out and I never have. So it's coming out and I'm probably gonna put like a shop light in here. One of the things actually that I may do is put a socket in and this light up here, again, I'm blinding you with it. Um, I'll try to find the link to the review that I did on it. That's actually a garage light. And I bought it for my wife when she was, she was a teacher. So she was teaching from home during the pandemic and our bedroom, the lighting is even worse than out here. So when she was teaching on the computer, the kids couldn't see her. So I bought that, put it in the bedroom, worked beautiful. She was able to be seen by the kids. <sighs> so yeah, I got a lot of work. The other thing that's gonna be the difficult part is over in this corner here, I have my servers, my backup hard drives, my TV, they all over there. I'm gonna take them from there, along with my network switches that are on the wall here, and move them over to that corner over there next to my computer where they really should be over there. They should be near the computer. <sighs> the reason they're there is the computer used to be right here. So that's what I got to do. That as I'm blinding you with the light there. That's what I'm going to have to do. 
I got a lot of work. I got a lot of junk to throw out. I'm even at the point where I may have to rent a dumpster. There's, there's so much garbage down here that we need to get through. <sighs> so that's my plan. It's hopefully it works. <laughs> so let's get back to me talking up in the kitchen. That's my plan, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow that through on this channel here. And like I said, I've created a channel, Black Cut Design, where I'm going to more focus on the tools that I'm buying. Uh, as I'm learning, i got to relearn all this stuff. Like I said, it's been so long, I, I forgot how to do a lot of the stuff. But that's what I'm, I'll, I'll be doing on the other channel, just basically showing my mistakes. I'll still be doing unboxings, uh, product demonstrations on this channel, but they may lean more towards woodworking, power tools, and those sort of things. Uh, I'm still going to be doing the tech stuff because, like I said, that that's what feeds my family right now is the IT and the tech aspect. Uh, but, like I said, what I'll do more on this channel is the, the setting up of the new office because I'm going to have to move my office over. Um, actually not move my office, but I'm gonna have to move all my infrastructure over to the other side of the basement, uh, which will mean running new lines and setting up my servers and everything on the opposite side because I can't have the servers in the same room if I'm creating a lot of dust because I'll just destroy them. But that's basically what I'm gonna be doing uh, probably over the next six months to a year. Uh, so I'll bring you guys along. I'll show you how I do things. I am gonna make a ton of mistakes. I'm going to try to do it all on my own. Uh, my wife's scared on that part and she she probably should be a little bit but that I'll be doing it myself. Uh, like I said I was never handy with tools when I was younger. I was never allowed to touch the tools. I was never taught how to use tools when, when I was younger at home. Uh, so basically everything that I've learned with the tools I've taught myself. Uh, probably taught myself wrong a lot of th times and that's where you guys come in let me know downstairs if I'm doing something wrong uh, downstairs down below <laughs> let me let me know down I can't believe I said that down below in the comments if I do something wrong send me a message uh, if, if there's a better way to do something that I'm doing uh, like I said I'm learning and at my age learning is a lot slower than it was 30 years ago uh, so that's what it, that's what's going on. Like I said, I, I apologize for not posting that much on this channel. I have had, like I said, the writer's block. I really seriously could not come up with things. Uh, but someone sent me a comment on one of the videos where I had posted before and basically gave me encouragement. And I do appreciate that. Thank you so much for that. It, it's hard. It's hard when you just can't get from what's up here down to here. And I'm sure a lot of other people that create YouTube videos have the same problem. This one has just been really long and ongoing. So we'll change directions just a little bit. Hopefully this works. We'll see. But that's it. That, that's like I said, I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on. I'm going to have a couple more videos coming up. Um, I've ordered some tools, so they should be coming in this week. I'm going to be giving you an opinion on box stores and one of... The things that really irritate me uh, that I've really found out over the past week or two. And I'll go over that and it's really frustrating. Uh, like I said, I'll bring you right through on this whole journey. If there's anything that you want to see, leave me in the comment below. Let me know. Uh, like I said, it's going to be it's going to be an adventure. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, thank you for coming all the way through to this point. I really, again, I appreciate it so much. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help my channel out a lot. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Again, it, it really does. Same thing with comments below. Helps the channel out so much. The other thing, if you are a subscriber, you guys have always known, I really do appreciate you guys. You guys are the reason why I can do these videos. Uh, one thing you can do is hit that bell icon on the subscribe button. What will happen is you'll get a notification anytime I put up a new video so that you're able to watch it and you'll know that it's out there. Uh, the only thing, make sure if you are watching me on a mobile device, make sure that notifications are allowed for the, for my videos, otherwise you're not going to get the notification. 
So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate you guys listening to me ramble on. Hopefully, hopefully this comes out really good. Like I said, I normally don't like really trying new stuff, but let's see how this works. So we'll see. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll be back to you guys again real soon. You ever fail? Are you listening? Damn. Yeah.